What's going on, nerds and nerdettes? It is Darth. We are back in Queen's Blade Limit Break, and this is going to be a review and overview of the updated changes that they made to what's known as the Boost Fund. Now, I haven't gone over this specifically, so you may still not be aware of this particular fund, or maybe you do and you were just on the fence about it, but they've made several additions to it. I wouldn't say changes. Uh, necessarily, but we're going to go over what the boost fund is, uh, what it can do for you, what it provides you, how it works, and then uh, maybe a couple of bonus tips at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Uh, we are on the home screen. The boost fund basically is located under the shop section because this is going to be one of those things that you buy, but it's also going to be a good value. So let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and click on the shop. The boost fund is located right here, aptly named, you know, boost fund but anyways this is where you can come to buy a kind of like a boost to I guess your warrior um, really it just provides different benefits and it's based on it's a fund that's actually based on your adventurer level so that you can come in here and buy this pass if you will and collect rewards now I will start off by saying that this is level 2 it doesn't say level 2 but this is level two of the boost fund. Now you're gonna notice various uh, tabs down here. These are all new. This was a single fund that basically rewarded you with a good price on a large amount of resources. That's what the boost fund does. But it's based on your adventurer level. So the higher you go in your adventurer level, the more rewards you can claim. Thus kind of being a really good value. Now, level one obviously started from level adventurer level, I believe it is one, all the way up to uh, 50, I believe it is, 49. It, I think it actually stopped at 50. So when you update to this one, it actually gives you a double reward, I think. I don't have a alternate account to log in and show you, but I can tell you that the diamonds that it gives you at each level started at 2,000. And the original reward on level one was 20 advanced summoning scrolls every time you collected a reward. So the rewards updated at level two to go up to 3,000 gems for each level that you reach. And the rewards changed to prophecy orbs. These are really good. Um, especially, and, and the advanced summoning scrolls are actually really good too, uh, but more importantly, it's prophecy orbs because of the formation scrolls that you get just for summoning and using these. These prophecy orbs are very valuable currency in the summoning, sh uh, the oracle summoning shop and gives you currency that can be exchanged to use for really solid warriors. The boost comes in is that you can use these to obtain some of the more powerful beginner warriors and some of them actually run into long term. I'll talk about like spicy pirate and stuff like that in the shop. So let me just go out and show you where that is just so that you know what I'm talking about. Under the summoning, the oracle, you summon these prophecy orbs that give you free summons for one, but they also allow you to go to the oracle shop and summon powerful rewards. Uh, B. Sigui, P Spicy Pirate, Swift Tracer being amongst the most specific. So that just gives you an overview of, of the rewards that you can get. Now, they've added with last night's update, we're calling it Game Update 11 2022 they've added four new boost funds. So let's take a look at them right now. The arrival summons, and you notice it does start at level 1, and let's see, it goes all the way up to level, yep, 150. So when you update to level 2, technically you get a double dip reward unless they changed it. But it starts at the standard 2,000 gems. This one is actually giving you 20 arrival summonings. There's interesting to know the original boost fund only had uh, 11 levels. And it still does, thus giving you, just to give you an idea, for $20, you can get 3,000 gems per level for a total of 33,000 and 33 prophecy orbs. This one, the new boost funds actually have 16 levels, meaning that you get 2,000 gems times 16 and 20 arrival summons times uh, 16 as well. For a grand total of 320 arrival books and 32,000 gems for, this is a deal, it's $20. 
Now, I have every reason to believe that this is just level one and will also update like the original one to level two, thus giving you additional rewards. This one is uh, unique in that it gives you summoning pearls that are used to summon ultimate warriors. Now, it's a higher price because it's ultimate pearls, but this is still 32, uh, 320 pearls and 32,000 gems. Let me put that in perspective for you real quick. People have been spending $200 a pop to get 100 of these. This is $50, and it gives you 320. So I feel sorry for everybody who just did their pearl summoning and spent on the $200 packs. But this is why the game needs to give us more advance notice of changes they're making so that we can plan accordingly and save a bit of our money. I digress. They did the arrival spicy tickets, again for $20, 320 and 32,000 gems, and the spicy prayer tickets for, again, 32,000 gems and 320 books for $20. By all game standards, these funds are extremely reasonably priced. Now for... Again, each one of these are probably going to go up. I would like to see this go up to 3,000 gems, and I would like to see an increase in the arrival books. But knowing the game, this will probably remain flat or static, or maybe they'll add a, a, a third column. I'll let you know because I may go ahead and purchase this. Now, that is the boost fund, guys. They've added four new tabs for a decent price, giving you a huge injection of gems, a large amount of resource for a considerable discount, but it's based on your adventure level. So you're going to have to get this up, guys, your adventure level. Now, if you're short on gems, this is where you want to come to buy them. Now, as a bonus tip, and depending upon when you watch this video, this week only, they are offering discount coupons in the puzzle event that's going to give you a discount on these prices. Now, I'm going to do a separate video, but I do want to mention that, uh, again, uh, for use on the 24th, you're going to be able to reduce this cost in half, basically down to about 11 bucks, where you're going to be able to buy these. What that means is you're going to be able to buy 320 of these for 11 bucks. It's something to consider, guys. Now, it's not always going to be available. I'm just mentioning it now. But be aware that the boost funds are here, and they go up with your Adventure 11 offering you increased rewards. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Would you buy these at $20 for the price? It's particularly this huge discounted pearls for the ultimate summons. What do you think of the $20 price tag and the new additions to the boost one? Did you know the boost one was here? Did you know that it was extremely cheap? Are you going to buy it? Are you going to wait to get the discount coupons and then buy it? That'd be my recommendation. Anyways, that's an update on the boost fund. Just know that it's here again from the home screen under shop boost. It's one of the best deals you will get in terms of rewards for the price, uh, even when it's not on discount. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.